Which one do you want to clean? Ten. Like, whoa! Two melted lollipops. What kind of test is this? <laughs> See? Hello you guys and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. On this Vivian Tries, I have for you a brand new as seen on television product. Today we're trying the Ninja Foodi Never Stick. Don't forget those words. Never Stick Cookware. A never stick, chip, or flake. Guaranteed. Target had this 10 inch pan for $39.99, which to me is a little pricey, don't you think? So the expectations are like already. There are a couple things though in the infomercial that made me go, oh, be careful. I mentioned this on my Instagram stories the other day. They have a lifetime five-year warranty. <laughs> I hate when they play with the words in the infomercial, and I know that it's just a thing people do, but I hate that because when you say a lifetime warranty, I'm thinking my lifespan. Like, as long as I have the pan, then my warranty is good. But that's not what they're saying. When used as directed is a lifetime based on five years. It's a five-year pan lifetime warranty, meaning a normal pan on an average would last you about five years. So they're basing it on that. When you say lifetime, I'm going, oh my God, my grandkids can own this pan. That's what I think. The infomercial promises that nothing will ever chip, stick, scratch, nothing. It never sticks, chips, or flakes. Nothing. <laughs> So, you know, Vivian took the challenge. We're really gonna put this to the ultimate non-stick test. I have here my little magnifying glass. We're gonna check for scratches today. I also have my little temperature gun here because the pan says it can hold up to 30,000 degrees. I don't know how you test that, but okay. And even at that temperature, I can't get it that hot because I don't got a facility. Um, so I can't get it up to 30,000 degrees, but I'm gonna I'm get it up. Probably like 400, <laughs> that's what I can do. That's realistic, that's real life. Ain't nobody cooking at 30,000 degrees. This is still a decent pan. Only reason I bought it is so that we would have a fair comparison. New against new. And these folks threw some jabs at this one in the infomercial with the little sandpaper test. Did you see that? Has been scrubbed 40,000 times. That was the one where I went, literally got in my car, went to Target, picked this guy up and picked up sandpaper. They took sandpaper and based on their infomercial, they scratched the hell out of this and nothing stuck to it. So they challenged me. I'm like, this is the biggest challenge ever done on Vivian Tries. I am literally gonna take sandpaper and then we're gonna cook on it. And then we're gonna put this beautiful magnifying glass on it and we're gonna check for scratches. Let's admire the beautiful pan, right? Look at it, not heavy like cast iron is, but it does have that cast iron kind of feel on it. This is impressive. If you want one of these, I'll link it up in the description of this video. Every time I pull this out, everybody wants one because it's so cool. Look at that surface, looks really nice. It reminds me of the Hax Clad. I don't remember, I always mispronounce that pan that I also did with this fancy little thing. It kind of reminds me of that. It has a little bit of a blue sparkle in there. I don't know, but that surface is looking very familiar. Go ahead and check the blue diamond just for fun because somebody's gonna ask me. Nice clean surface. It does have like some very light scratches right out of the box, but nothing that I can see visibly with my eyes. It also might be just dirty right? Because I have not wiped these down yet. Now the infomercial went extra, 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 the most is, as I like to say. And they said they freaking rubbed this thing right in the center too, like 30,000 times. I'm like, okay, that's overkill. Let me show you the before. Okay. It's on the surface. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready? One, two, three, go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, who owes me money? Who owes me money? Send me my check. Can you see the scratches? Oh my god. Okay, so this one, you see it right there? It's not crazy scratched, but it's definitely, it got some of that blue diamond dust. <laughs> I remember that in the infomercial that said this diamond dust. Get out of here with that. Okay, we'll start with our ninja cookware. Let's see if we can see some difference here. I see scratching, but I believe the infomercial, they said it will never scratch chip or stick, right? What is that? Let's just move on because I'm seeing all kinds of stuff. Like, whoa, this one is jacked. 
fact. Look at all the scratches on it. Y'all ruined my pan. But if it doesn't stick, is it ruined? I don't know. We're gonna call it the blue diamond never stick pan. Why do I have a country accent today? I don't know. Listen, I've morphed into the Vivian from the country. Hillbilly Vivian. <laughs> I don't know what the hell happened, but I woke up with an accent. <laughs> I wish I had a British accent. I can't wait to be back in London, you guys. Very visible damage here. I can confirm that I'm seeing scratches and surface has chipped or been worn off. Now, look at these fancy things I got on Amazon. Okay, so we're gonna do the ninja over here and the blue diamond over here. Ding, 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 ding. We're in the ring, folks. No oil needed, no butter, no greases, no nothing, because they both promise the same thing. You see the way that egg dish just lifts and glides right out of that pan with no tearing or breaking apart? Non-stick. So Blue Diamond did not promise the little sandpaper test, so we can't take any points off for this one because it's not its fault that I scratched it up. So, so much for uh, having two of these little hot plate things because my Blue Diamond pan will not work on it. Oh, beautiful. This pan is getting beat up today. Let's just do a little gentle flip. Not a big deal. Here's a traditional non-stick pan scrubbed 15,000 times and a Ninja Never Stick pan that was scrubbed 40,000 times. You're a little burnt because I'm over here yapping. <laughs> Pretty good. It's burnt. Don't judge me and my cooking skills. I'm trying to talk, not burn myself, all that stuff at the same time. The infomercial, he just rolled that omelet right out of there. Look at that, as golden as the morning sun. I don't know where I'm getting this accent, you guys. I'm concerned about it now. Come on. That's around 10 years worth of scrubbing and the Ninja Pan still has never stick performance. This is the easiest test of today. It looks like some of the omelets started to stick to the part of the pan where we scrubbed it 1,500 times. I'm gonna say that's shameful. And I know some people are gonna say, well, maybe the pan was hotter. No, actually look at the egg from the bottom. It's not even burnt compared to this guy. This guy was burnt. I was gonna go take it to the sink to wash, but I'm thinking these are non-stick. I should be able to just wipe it all out right here. One thing I will say, now that I've picked up the blue diamond pan, still, sizzling hot. This one is like cool already. Like I can touch, I can't touch this one. I'm literally burning my hands, wiping it with this rag. And now the candy test. Both pans claim something like this where you can melt like hard candy and they're not gonna stick. These sticky candy demos on brand new pans, but after only 1500 scrubs, the food sticks. Clearly Ninja never stick, never sticks. There's one, number two. This one is moving a lot faster, even though I placed the lollipop on this one. I was hating about the eggs a little bit because I don't want to help you. You told me you had this. It's going faster over here. I'm kind of impressed with it a little bit. My pan is starting to smoke, which is not a great sign. It might be a case of runaway heating. This one's smoking. I'm going to turn it off and then we're going to let it cool down so we can just wipe it off. Two melted lollipops. What kind of test is this? Okay. Got that one out of there. Make sure we can get all this off of here. The food sticks. Okay, this one. Wipe it right out of there. Ninja never stick, never sticks. Okay, this one's sticking a little bit more than that guy was. You see, there's a lot more of the candy still on this one than there is on this guy. It's also a lot easier to clean. Running cold water over the blue diamond pan actually did excellent. It almost got all the candy off without having to do much. I'm gonna say it did not stick on this pan. This one, definitely are gonna have to scrub that. And it was not coming off with just water. That's stuck stuck. My pan will simply wipe out clean. <laughs> That's not coming off. Not with my nails, not with this little plastic spatula. So I'm gonna have to go scrub it in the sink. I'm gonna say if I'm comparing both of these, this one pass, this one, not so much. Now clean, I did just run it under water for a few more minutes and it came right off. No extra scrubbing or anything. The water did most of the work, but you guys saw the results. You let me know what you think of that test. The famous marshmallow test. I think every single pan I've ever tested on my channel has gone through the marshmallow test because there is nothing stickier than marshmallows, correct? Do you not love this beautiful light green color of this shirt now? Let me know in the comments down below which color of shirt has been your favorite. And don't forget, after you're done with this video, to go to cute.com and pick one of these up. They're my favorite. I love stripes. Okay, pile them in. Pretty easy test. I'll tell you, I'm impressed with the way this thing handles the temperature. You might have a decent pan here and I might have to switch. Okay. <laughs> See? Came right off. Okay, these, 
There's one. Why aren't y'all coming off all at the same time? Oh, uh-oh. This pan did not get as hot as that one. You guys can see that one burned my marshmallows. These are not burnt. Um, They need help. They're not just popping off. Never sticks. Let's just help it. What a mess. <laughs> I should retire this stupid test because guess who gets to clean that? Me. Which one do you want to clean? Washed did the Ninja Foodie Never Stick cookware pass my test? I'm gonna say yes because it did. Did it pass with flying colors? No. It kind of just passed like any other pan. The cast iron kind of look is really nice and I'm sure that it will sear meat protein nicely. For all of those reasons, I'm gonna give the Ninja Foodie nonstick cookware four. Vivian heads. I took off a Vivian head for the price and also because it performed like another pan. I was just impressed with a few things. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. And don't forget to let me know in the comments down below what color of shirt was your favorite. And also cute.com. See you there.